Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. It's going to be a short video about security on your Mac. And uh, this is a, was recommended by a, a guy that I listened to on uh, Tech Guy Labs, Leo Laporte. It's a good idea, and I went in and I uh, actually implemented what he suggested. So what am I talking about? Well, you want to go and set up your security and privacy settings on your Mac if you already haven't done it. So you're going to go to your system preferences and you're going to come over here to security and privacy and open it. Now uh, I'm going to unlock this so that I can just demonstrate what we're talking about. Okay, so under, under general, you want to make sure that you allow apps downloaded from either the Mac App Store or the App Store and identified developers. You really don't want to select anywhere. So once you're unlocked, you can select any one of these and the one that's recommended. Oops, cancel that. You see that what it asked? It came up with a dialogue said, do you really want to do that? And the answer was no. Uh, I also have... Um, Uh, I like to require passwords, so I'm going to set this at, after it goes to sleep. I'm going to require a password. You can show a message when the screen is locked, or you can disable automatic login, which I've also done. Now, File Vault is a very interesting uh, application that allows you to encrypt all of the information on your Mac so that if anybody gets into your machine and gets your data, they have to have a decryption code in order to read the information. Now, to turn it on, you would click the Turn On File Vault. Now, I haven't done it here. I can allow <clears throat> my iCloud account to unlock the disk if, uh, if it ever, or I can create a recovery key, um, which is a long piece of code that you want to keep safely, and that will allow you to get back into your machine if for any reason somebody tried to get in and uh, uh, the tool did what it was supposed to do, which was encrypt everything. Uh, I haven't turned it on. I don't need, think I need it. But there are a lot of people who might run their businesses off their machines, and you would certainly want to avail yourself of that option. Firewall. You want to make sure your firewall is on. Uh, mine was off. I came in and turned it on. And this allows any um, inbound uh, nasty stuff to get, to get blocked by, a fi by the firewall. There is a program that uh, Leo Laporte uh, recommends called Little Snitch. Uh, that allows you to check anything going outbound. But inbound, uh, the firewall will do the trick. Uh, and then you have firewall options that you can pick to decide uh, you know, what you want the firewall to stop or not, st not stop. And then privacy. So here you can set uh, some privacy settings. Uh, send diagnostics. You know, some people are, don't like to do that, so you can unclick it. I, I'm more than willing to help them out. Send crash data to developers. And then uh, there's something here that explains how all that works and what your privacy is. And that's it. Uh, if you go to advanced, you'll see a required administered password to access system-wide preferences. I always require that. Uh, disable remote infrared receiver, I didn't. And uh, log out after 60 minutes of inactivity. Um, you can do that. That's also something that uh, you, you may be more comfortable. I haven't activated it. So there it is. These are your security and privacy settings, which you should go back and take a look at and set them. Once they're set, you lock them in and you're done. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Pallon, Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it. Stay well. Talk soon.